today's video is going to be the book autumn book challenge video so i thought i'd go through all of the books and talk about whether i read them or not i haven't read that much and i realized there's a couple of books over there i need to go get Sitting in front of my book shelf. So I'm going to start with this one. Read this as Charles Dickens, a year that changed him. So it was very interesting. I'd like to read it again properly. Like, I'd like to really read it again. Reread it so I can really just enjoy it more. I didn't unenjoy it, but. I'd like to read it again. Next we have Animal Magic. I'm still currently reading Hamster Magic. I'm on page 140. So it's been really good. Like this is a series. Like I've read Cat Magic, Dog Magic and I've read Cat Magic and I've read Mouse Magic. We'll start with Cat Magic, which I've read. This was such a good book. Like, I've gone through it so quickly. Like, I really enjoyed it. Like, the last thing Lottie wants to do is spend the holidays with her boring uncle, but discovered the pet shop is full of magic. And everything changes. Lottie finds a stray cat that needs a home. A little tabby, which I'm like, the little tabby on the front cover looks so cute. Then I read Dog Magic took me a bit longer but there's one where Lottie is enjoying life at the pet shop and discovers the dot magic dogs appear which is talked about in the last book but the school bully threatens to ruin everything Lottie and Sophia must just how far their magic can go and they try and stop the school bully and that like the school bully Zara tries to make it like she cheated in a spelling test but she didn't cheat and Lottie stands up for herself and that. And it's a really good book. Then we have Hamster Magic, which Lottie's friends with Ruby. Lottie's loving life at the magic pet shop and every day her own magic power gets stronger. Her friend Ruby gets in trouble. Lottie knows she needs to help all her magic she's got and has a very special hamster. But I can't wait to finish this one. This is something a bit different to what I'd normally read. Like, this is The Girl at the Window. They say she doesn't exist. This is Penny Jolson. And also there's another one down there that's I Have No Secrets. This is my first book I've read by her. Like, I haven't read anything from hers before. Page 191. Kesha watches the world go by from her bedroom window. She's not well enough to leave the house, but sees everything from the window. Kesha witnesses misery, and it's like, does she have the answers? Very good book. This is kind of different, like it's more of a mystery. Which I don't normally read that sort of thing. Moving on to some stuff that I didn't read. I'm still yet to read these George Orwell books. I will get to them at some point. This one is Coming Up for Air. Like, I enjoy a lot of George Orwell books, and this one is The Bernie's Days. And this one I really need to need, I'm so excited to read this one. This is Charlie Chaplin, my autobiography. It's about, as a child, Charlie Chaplin was inspired by the sight of glamorous Bordevilla stars passing his home. And from then on, he never lost his ambition to become an actor. Chaplin's film career as the little tramp adored by her world is the stuff of legend. But this Frank autobiography shows another side. It talks about his childhood, early debut music hall stage. Lucky break in America, struggling to maintain artistic control of his work, and some other stuff. Like, I'm so excited to read this. Like, I really want to know more about Charlie Chaplin. 
I haven't read this yet. This is my last Charles Dickens book that I need to read. This is A Tale of Two Cities. I'm excited to read that. I'm probably going to read that in January because that's a good time for long books. Then this book, I'm like, really does relate to me. I really do need to read it. It's no one is talking about this. This is about a life lived in two halves. It's about what happens in real life with increasing abundance of world access to the screen. It's about living in a world containing both abundance of proof that there is goodness, empathy, justice in the universe. And a little job evidence to contrary. It's mediation of love, language, human connection from one other most original voice of our time. Such a good book, I can't wait to read. So then this book by Jenny Coogan, this is about the bookshop. She moved from London to Scotland and run a bookshop. Then this is the last book. Primrose Square, this is about all the women in Primrose Square, and you find out all about the square and that, so enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, see you in the next video, bye.